Okay, so here we are doing Giardia treatment. Um, I had them all set up in the kitchen and then of course realized that with the entire flock in the kitchen, I'm going to become allergic to the kitchen pretty soon. And it, so I moved them out here. They're inside the turtle habitat because I don't have to sterilize the turtle habitat, but it will still keep the predators off of their cages. So um, they're all in their cages. They're all getting the medication and on a strictly seed diet until they get through it for the next 10 days. Um, other progress being made. There's all the breeding cages. They have been set out here in the, uh, they're all black metal. Um, and I've read that Giardia dies fast in heat. So I put them out here because they get full sun all afternoon. Um, and I also sprayed them with a one to 32 ratio bleach um, solution, which is basically one gallon and a half cup of bleach, one gallon of water and a half cup of bleach. Um, so those should be fine after that. Um, I'm going to take all of the bowls, the perches and everything else and wash them in the dishwasher because um, that will sterilize them with heat. So all of those will go in there. Um, the flight cages are empty and I spray them all down including spraying all along each and every single little perch. Um, the weather is warmed up but it's not like 80 degrees so I am going to go ahead and spray this twice. I sprayed it today and um, I'm kind of hoping that a lot of the plants will die because if they don't I'm going to have to hoe them out of there because plants can suck up Giardia out of the ground if it's, um, you know. So uh, I'm spraying them today. I'll spray them again probably in about four days while I'm still treating the birds um, and whatever's left I'll have to cut out or whatever and then um, I'll cover it all with fresh dirt. Um, like I said, I, I sprayed each and every single one of the perches all the way along the length of it and up all the wood rods and all the wire and everything. Um, and I also did the main flight cage over there. It's all sprayed up and I'll do it one more time in about four days with the bleach solution. Um, the, the breeding cage, I don't have to do that with because they don't actually come in contact with the cage. They come in contact with the breeding cages. Um, all of the... They never, those are the um, nest boxes that have not been used yet. Um, uh, I had to throw out a few because they had been used by uh, a couple of the birds. Um, I scrubbed all of these out and I'm leaving them out in the sun again to get them nice and warm and um, ultraviolet light from the sun and the heat helps uh, kill any germs in them. Um, so these are the last two in the breeding cage. Um, that's Phantom and his lady Hyacinth. And um, they have some pretty little babies in here. Well, they're pretty to me. They're not gorgeous yet, but there they are. Um, Banded the biggest one, and the other two are doing just fine. And there's Hyacinth. I think all those babies are going to come out looking like her, because I don't think she's split for anything. And this is Matilda and... Uh, Royal and they have three little babies in here as well two nice big hefty ones and a little tiny guy Where is he? There he is down there. Can you see him? He hatched late. There's a few more eggs in here I don't know that they're gonna hatch but three is good enough for me um, These guys both have the Giardia I could tell because Hyacinth first um, her baby stopped growing and uh, I know what they're supposed to look like and how fast they're supposed to develop and I could tell instantly when they stopped growing and um, Matilda followed along right behind her um, she had another chicken there that was closer to age to the two big ones and it hatched and died in 24 hours and that's a sign of Giardia so um, I cannot give these guys the uh, ranitazole because it's not good for the babies um, but I can give them the tetracycline which, although it doesn't cure it, it controls it enough so that um, they stay strong and the babies will continue to grow normally. And then once the babies have fledged, I can take them and treat them all with the ranitazole. So they're in here on their own and they'll be in here by themselves until I get everybody else cleared up and the big flight cages all taken care of. And then I will move these two guys cages inside so I can sweep this down, set it up with the already sterilized cages, and get a bunch of other birds started going. Um, 
I'm going to let them rest for a few days after they get the after they're done with the medication, get their guts back in order and everything, and then I'm going to bring them in here because so far I've only had these two successful nests. So I, uh, they're now next to each other, and they didn't used to be, so they squawk at each other, kind of stating their territory. My nest, my nest. No, my nest, my nest. Anyway, I'm going to have at least six beautiful babies out of here. Um, and I'll probably do a video on how to band them pretty soon, now that I've figured it out. <laughs> um, the two larger, Matilda and Royal's two larger babies already have bands, but the little one will be a whole week out before I band him. And, um, Hyacinth and Phantom's oldest baby has a band, um, but the other two are still a day or two away from it. So maybe I'll film them when I do it. So anyway, we're making progress on the, uh, Giardia slash... Um, you know, uh, protozoan ick ickiness, and um, we should be doing pretty good here pretty soon. Um, I'm going to be really glad to be able to get all my birds back out here and start breeding them again, because I've had to cancel it a couple of different times now for various and sundry reasons, and I'm two months behind on the breeding program, so first year, got to take care of business. Okay, that's the update.